What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dangling with Dev YouTube video. Y'all see my man Lion's Tail Adventure oh. in the background. Go subscribe to him. Everything's right. down in the description. Today we are in front of one of his favorite local bait and tackle shops. And we are going to be doing a 1v1 store versus store craziest lure for biggest bass. What do you I think am, about that? Oh, I'm going to pick out the craziest lure ever. But I'm a super fan of small businesses so this is a locally owned store. Yo, you gotta support the locals, you dig? Hey, y'all also see all this Under Armour merch. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything, but I think, I think we kind of look good in it. We kind, we kind of look good in it. Yes. All right, without any further ado, let's get inside and pick out something crazy. All right, guys, we are inside, and this place is absolutely crazy big. I was actually in here last night, and they were talking a bunch of trash about who can tie better flies, and I don't know anything about fly fishing, but we might be doing a little bit of that later. So, we're gonna put the camera on you. Yeah. There's a bunch. Of like saltwater stuff right now i have done like some saltwater fishing challenges for bass but i don't think i can catch anything on like a nah i'm gonna try to keep Marlin it like bait. at least at least like reasonable you know what i'm saying because i'm not gonna go throw them like i don't think you'll be able to throw a marlin bait with it i'd be pretty hey with challenge it. don't challenge me i, I will right. do it try to look around yo this store is it's big it's got a lot of stuff like if you're looking for somewhere to go locally that's like more niche down you should definitely come check them out here uh, it's got everything you need when it comes to fishing. So let's find something. I like this, but that's like that's crazy looking, yo. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Jacksonville's bass Ooh. are different, but I don't know if they'll eat that. What about that? You think they'll eat that? That's kind of small, but it's on top. It, it, it is winter yeah. time though, too. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be down low, down low. Uh, you can, uh, you can pick whatever you want. Like, I don't let uh, me influence I you. I want to like get something that at least it gives you a chance. You know, what I'm saying? I always got a chance. You know who right? I am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I'm thinking like something like this because it's not crazy looking, but it's a Spanish mackerel bait. So it kind of looks like, you know, Spanish mackerel and mackerel eat this thing alive, but I think it still might catch a bass. So I do like, I do like this. Though. Let me see it. Yo, it's uh, it's crazy. They call these Christmas trees. So what it happens is. Is it like a spoon? Kind of, sort of, man. So it goes on the bottom of these things, right? And so it's kind of like a teaser and the, the mackerel end up hitting this. But so I got to get that too? No, no, no. Ah, no, we just want this. Like just this. this. So you can do in Spanish, you could do just the rig by itself, or you could have the spoon at the end of it. But I'm going to, let's hold on to this one. I'm, right. I'm liking this one right here. That's all fast stuff. That's easy. I got something. Oh, you folks. got it. You got I it. I got something, folks. Look at this. What if yeah. you threw a crab bait out of bass? If you can catch something on this. Well, you know, you know, bass eat crawfish like crazy. Yeah, but I've never seen it done, though. Oh, I've seen I it. Mean, I've seen the crawfish done, but I've never seen them eat a crab. I mean, crab and crawfish are kind of in the same like. I've done a, I've done a fake shrimp before. I've literally, I think, literally one like this, like a little prawn. So I'm, I'm going here or here. What you guys think shit? I'm, I'm feeling this because I'm like, I would never, ever guess a crab would catch a bass. So it's one of the two. Let's keep looking around and then uh, we're going to make our decision. So I know we said one bait, but let's do this. Let's do a two bait challenge, kind of switching it up right off the back. The first one, the first bait, we're gonna do just this. I don't think my man, not to say I don't doubt it, I don't, I don't doubt his fishing skills, but I don't think a bass would eat that, right? Right. So that's the first challenge. The second challenge is if he can catch a bass on this, uh, what's your favorite spot to eat in Jacksonville? My favorite spot to eat in Jacksonville? Yeah. Shoot, Jacksonville's kind of big. Like, yeah, there's some one, nice one places. Come, what's the one spot that you come to your head right off the back? <laughs> Bro, I don't know. <laughs> Longhorn? I go okay. to Longhorn every so week. if he catches a bass over five pounds on this, yo, it's Longhorn on me. I'll catch right? three bass over five pounds. I'll catch, a, I'll catch an eight-pounder on that. Bet money. There it is. Y'all <laughs> see it, folks. Let's go, all right? All right, guys, we are inside of Walmart to me and old lion's tail fishing, and all I'm seeing right now in Destin Fort, or Fort Walton Beach Walmart is like redfish and saltwater stuff. They do have some Guggen stuff right here. All right, so we got some Guggen base, but I have to get something crazy for my man to catch a fish on. You know what, this little striking thing looks kind of... I gotta catch a fish on that one? Nah, 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 nah. All right. All right. I'm gonna find you something wild though, because Walmart stays having some crazy baits. All right, y'all, I think I found what uh, we're gonna get. I'm nervous. Oh, Lionel, we're here in front of, just so y'all can see what I'm looking at. I have found, let me get my knees down here. You know, he helped me out with a crab. So I think I'm gonna have to hit him with the uh, Yoziri shrimp jerk bait. Damn, that's gonna be, and you don't, gonna work. You don't really bass fish. No. Like that. No. And you really only bass fish on the fly. Correct. So you don't even know how, do you know how to work a jerk bait? I, I do know how to work a jerk bait because that's a redfish bait. Now I am a redfish guy, all right? That's what I do. This thing is crazy. I've never seen a jerk bait like this. Comment down below if you think it's gonna catch a bass or not. I, uh, 
I, I think it will. I think it's gonna catch a fish. What do you think? I believe in my skills that I can catch a fish with anything. So that's a big talk. That's a big talk. Listen, All right, listen, listen. we're not gonna waste any more of your time. We're gonna get straight to the pond. Let's go. Let's go. It is so cold. Hardest challenge I've ever done. Please, something cool just happened. Pressure is stupid high today. Like no wind this morning. Kind of cold. It's like 45 degrees. Nah, that's pretty freaking cold for me. I'm not gonna lie. That's almost. It's almost freaking arctic temperatures this is now the third day in a row that i've been fishing for this challenge first two days did not get a single bite on either one of these lures so uh yeah this is what we're going with today yet again to keep it done guys so please like and subscribe since this is taking me so long i will just tie on the texas rig and say this challenge defeated me just so i can catch some fish for this video i promise you i'll do it That was, that had to be a fish. That had to be a fish. That was 100% a fish. Why are they just side swiping it like that? Eat it all the way. Oh, all right, folks. I've not fished this spot in a very long time. Uh, if you are a long time subscriber to the channel, you'll realize that this spot is from a couple weeks, maybe a couple months ago. Oh. Uh -huh. And I had the cops called on me here for no reason by a lady over there. So that's always fun. Wow, the water level's so low. What's that clarity looking like? Dingy. Bet. That is a giant carp. Oh my god. <laughs> we might have to do some carp fishing, boys. Jeez. Man, look at all these soft plastics on the ground. Y'all need to clean up. What y'all doing? There is no way. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even joking. That same lady. 100% just had the cops called on me. All right, folks. It is 8.30 in the morning. Too early to be dealing with that lady over there that I've already exposed and gotten complete permission to fish this spot from the cops like literally in the cop or in the video the cop was like hey bro lady cop she was like you can fish here all you want like just keep following the rules like i don't know what that lady's talking about as long as you're not in her backyard <clears throat> you are okay you can fish wherever you want uh it's unfortunate because i've actually spoken with him her husband before but it's very unfortunate because this spot where i was fishing holds j j j j giant bass so uh we're gonna take a little break probably go to the gym since it's 8 30 in the morning and uh, reconvene later maybe when the pressure is just a little bit lower who knows i'm getting my absolute butt kicked but thanks for sticking around and watching the videos catch you later well i feel like i'm fishing in south florida today this weather is incredible but the the pressure is just through the roof i actually think the highest pressure day that I fished in over a year. And actually it's been this way the past like two or three days. So this challenge is just it, like incredibly tough. Plus you got this really dirty water recently for some reason. This is really crazy, honestly. I also never fished this spot, so I don't know if there's fish in it whatsoever. Oh, got one, come on, let's go. I got one, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Oh my gosh, finally, 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 finally. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh my gosh, let's go. Come on. Oh, finally. Come on. All right, guys. There we go. Fish number one on the old uh, prawn lure. Absolutely destroyed it. Nice fish, too, bro. That honestly didn't really make too much sense. There's a couple lily pads up here, but the wind is blowing all the way over here on this bank and I just cast it about these lily pads in this really shallow water all right y'all i was fishing this morning and it was 42 degrees it is legitimately 81 right now so wild weather swings here in florida right now i can't promise i won't go swimming if there's a 10 pounder on there i need to catch it but we're here at spot number two for the day day number three three days trying to get on these fish for you on this prawn lure i've completely given up on the crab lure 
at least for now maybe when bed fishing comes back we'll run that challenge back with the crab lure but for now it's just the old prawn so uh yeah let's get to fishing huh come on bro that's a fish that's a fishy cast what are we doing oh well there we go guys fish number two just like that right here at the bank absolutely destroyed it solid two and a half pounder this fish is a lot a lot healthier than the other one so maybe we maybe we found a good little spot that scared the heck out of me i'm so sorry if i scream like a girl i i like this spot let's go Come on, got him. Oh, he's better, he's better, come on. Come on, he's a good fish, he's a good fish. Come on. Oh, I would say probably right at three and a half, maybe four. Yeah, right at three and a half, 3.6. <laughs> oh, there we go, guys. We have got on them. This is a healthy fish starting to feed up. Oh, yeah, let's go. Come on. Swim back off, girl. Other way. Other way. Other way. Oh, there it goes. Come on. There you go. Boom. Let's go. No way, I got another one. Oh. Oh my gosh, she's digging. Come here. Oh my god, another big one, dude. What the? Come on. Thank you so much. All right, guys. We had just found a nice little spot. Just had a 3.6. This one's actually smaller at 3.3. Three. They are destroying it right now. Let's go. Oh, y'all think there's a third one right here? Come on, got one, got a little one. Oh, he came off. I know he didn't. He's just so tiny. It wasn't even recording, guys, but uh, yeah, there you go. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. After three days, three whole days, the bite finally turned on. We were able to get on some really good fish for you guys on a place that I've never fished before and is right down the street from my house. So, this might be one of my new favorite spots to come film. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Lion's Tail Adventure and Lionel on YouTube, follow him on Instagram, all that stuff, guys. He's gonna actually be coming this next week to film some more absolute bangers for you guys. We're gonna be working with him more on the channel, trying to help him out, trying to help me out. So comment down below if you guys like the collabs. And with that said, I will see you on the next fishing video. Peace.